Hey, this is BC. This is my ZMR250 that I built about a month ago. I'm running a um, CC3D board with SBUS from a Fry Sky. Um, I have Cobra 2204 motors, these ones. So far, these are pretty awesome. Not too expensive. The ESCs I'm using are the Rotor Geeks 12 amp ESCs. These are pretty awesome. You can flash the firmware and customize everything just from the servo cable. Um, today I'm experimenting with some different mounts for the GoPro. Uh, the stock mount that came with the ZMR250, I put it on there and it was pretty garbage. I had a lot of jello, so. I'm trying something different. This was a the foam case that came with the KK2 board. Um, just cut it down. I have another one that I kind of cut at an angle so when I start flying a little faster it'll be at like a 20 degree angle I think. Um, just running a cheap little 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. Haven't went out and bought a new uh, antenna yet. I ordered some uh, Hobby King FPV goggles that should be in this week. I'll play with them. One of the mods I did was I went and bought some nylon spacers and these are 20 millimeter 3M screws. So 3 millimeter by 20 millimeter screws and I put a little spacer in between there because it was crushing the the cables and I had some the power cable was touching the board and it was squishing it, clamping the wire, and it was shortened out. So I changed that. My 3D printer, I printed one of these bumpers. Not so sure I like it yet, but we'll see. So that's what I've been playing with for a while. Um, I'll show you, what, show you guys what the uh, video looks like with just these rubber bands. I kind of just wrapped them around the the post there. So I'll show you guys some video from that. Um, I've just been flying line of sight for now and I'll get back to you soon. Well, I broke a prop while I was uh, trying to land it, hit the edge of my deck. Um, I only I try to only fly in rate mode just because I don't want to get used to um, attitude mode. It's just something I feel like doing. It's a little harder. So I used to use this Fly Sky receiver. And I used to fly it on this little this tricopter I built. KK2 board, my first one I built. It was, that was pretty good. When I switched over to this one, I was getting a lot of weird readings. The uh, the P gain, I had to bump it down to like 10 just to get it to not oscillate. So 
I just decided to fork over the cash and buy a nice receiver and the when I hooked it up instantly I could tell the difference between the fly sky. Um, great receiver for just a generic um, anything else you want to do but for precise things um, I really recommend one of these with SBUS digital signal. It's pretty awesome.